I can still get a job even though I have piercings that are on the surface and that anyone should be able to get a job even if they have crazy piercings or tattoos. I mean some things might be a little offensive to other people and it's not like that can't be covered up at all and it doesn't mean that things like that make somebody handicapped to doing their job right and you know performing surgery if they're a doctor or like you know things like that if I was a forensic scientist just because I have cheek piercings or tattoos doesn't mean that I can't you know do all these things in a chem lab. But most people are generally concerned about pain when it comes to piercings and actually if you get a piercer who knows what he or she is doing um, it actually just feels like getting your ears pierced it just feels like a pinch how most people describe it and the guy who did my cheeks today he has 17 years of piercing experience and he didn't even need to use a clamp he just pinched my cheek and pierced it and it was done really quickly really easily and it just felt like a pinch I have a full-time job and I work for Apple computers and I do tech support for them and it's kind of cool to work in an environment where there's a people that are creative and unique and different are allowed to thrive and they don't have to conform too much I mean, you gotta be at work on time, you gotta do your job but if you have blue hair, who cares? Um, if you want to wear big honking black boots to work, you can, it doesn't really matter <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really kind of a great environment for people that are kind of different alternative and we can thrive and it's fantastic girl. I'm an alternative model, not necessarily goth, although I do veer into that category sometimes. I do lots of color and stuff. I'm actually really dressed down tonight. Um, you know, I make a hundred dollars an hour doing what I do, which is just expressing myself as my art. And a lot of people, you know, can't say that. <laughs> you need to necessarily make your life path goth, uh, you can still be culturally goth and not necessarily do that. I mean, you're a machinist and that's not exactly a goth per se job or whatever. I mean, what do you make for a living? Yeah, I just make like metal parts and stuff and like it's like a really skilled trade and stuff and like I have to do lots of math every day at work but like I can still go out You make and like have dentist fun. picks and things like that. Yeah, like I can still go out and have fun and like keep my life in control and like I'm, you know, don't drink and stuff like when I have to go to work the next day and like, you know, just keep my priorities straight and like, but like I can still have fun and you know, keep everything under control and yeah, it's not really not that hard and I don't get like people seem to think it's like this black and white thing right? they are like this either like square person that like goes to a nine to five job in the skyscraper across the street or like is this crazy out of control party animal it's like there's like a happy medium between the two and like there is plenty likes. of people that work for google that come here tonight i know like four people that work in the google offices that come out here like on a weekly basis i mean there's plenty of products we all consume on a regular basis that are produced by people that are considered goth and yeah. you would never know unless you knew these people happy personally birthday. Goth is a lifestyle. It's about art, it's about culture, it's about literature. It has nothing to do with satanic worship or, you know, being a vampire or, you know, wanting to kill people or being depressed or, you know, just wanting to kill yourself constantly. That's, you know. We could be successful, you know. Hell, I'm a manager at Hot Topic, for Pete's sakes. I mean, you know, and I don't have to dress all conservative, whatever.